This is not this week's real episode, this is just an in-between video and it's about the email conversation that I had, so basically this is just an email episode. Email! The real episode on uh, the do-it-yourself kind of thing is coming out, uh, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I don't like ranting, but I feel forced to do it. Uh, all you guys know that I, uh, that I am a big fanboy of the microchip uh, 18F series, and, uh, but one of the downsides of this uh, chip is the lack of uh, a lot of PWM ports, like hardware accelerated PWM. And um, well, I ended up in a discussion with microchip uh, representatives uh, themselves. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Uh, they just gave me a call on uh, if I needed some help or if I could give feedback. So I started giving feedback. Basically, what I uh, was asking for is give us more PWM ports because you know the competition is doing it, and all the LED uh, hobbyists and uh, well, even in architecture and in art, they need a lot of PWM ports. So give us more ports, and um, well, I, in first uh, instance, I got reasonable, reasonable uh, reactions from them. But then, in the end, when the discussion got uh, more back and forth, basically what they're saying is, uh, we are focusing on uh, on motor control. So all all our PWM hardware accelerated ports have features for motor control, and that makes it very uh, expensive to make. To you know, it, it takes a lot of flip flops and transistors in the die, so that's why we only put a few on them, and um, and they don't believe in the in the LED market or whatever. I don't know how what they are thinking, but the, they're just saying we are focusing on uh, on H bridge um, uh, control and stepper control and not on LED. If you want more PWM ports, you should go for a bigger chip. La, la 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 which is more expensive and etc but what I uh, what I told them and what I want to tell you as well is Atmel on the other side not like the big comp comp uh, competition of uh, microchip they they have the tiniest 8-bit chip that they have on the on the Arduino you know is the um, is this Atmega uh, 328 which is the smallest one, and they have more PWM ports, hardware accelerated, than the most expensive 8-bit chip of microchip, and this is one of their cheapest ones. So for the chip that I'm using, I can I can have 20 ADC inputs, so I can ha I can have 20 sensors at the same time. Well, that that's great, but then I cannot even put on two RGB LEDs. What? I mean, you need six PWM ports for that, right? RGB, RGB, that's six. And you only got five, and this is the most expensive 8-bit chip they have. I mean, what? What? I mean, you, you can take a, a chip from uh, Atmel, and it has uh, 10 ADC ports, which is fine to hook up 10 sensors to one microcontroller, and then you can have six PWM ports. So you can do two RGB LEDs, which makes sense. It's more in balance. I mean, yeah, I think I think microchip is making a big mistake because they put all these um, a lot of features on their PWM ports. I mean, they have like inverted versions and complementary versions of uh, controlling an H bridge and all kinds of different time bases that you can select and la 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 la. That's all very nice for motor control, but for LED control. We don't need that. So just do a very simple PWM module on that. I mean, one timer uh, on one time base, you start the timer and the thing goes rolling and you can just put in like 16 values that output PWM signals to 10 outputs. I mean, you need one timer and 16 comparators and that's all you need. So not the big blown up, full featured PWM ports that take a lot of space and are really expensive. No, just really tiny modules for PWM, just simple. So we can hook up a lot of LEDs. That's what we need. So forget the motors. I mean, or maybe keep even the motors and keep your two full-blown, full-featured PWM ports for the motors on there, but just add like 16 really simple PWM ports on the chip. That would make a big difference on, on, on your sales and 
on the market and I mean Atmel is doing it and, and see what the community is doing they put a big Arduino community around it and they sell a lot of those chips and a microchip is just like oh, no we we don't do it what so basically they just had a let me down big time I was always saying no microchip will come with a new 8-bit microcontroller or a 16-bit which is solderable which is affordable in the same price range as Atmel that has more PWM outputs but it just officially you know told me through the email that they're not going to do it they're just gonna keep it to two three PWM outputs I mean come on the, the Atmel thing the, the smallest Atmel 8-bit microcontroller has six PWM outputs, hardware accelerated. I mean, come on, how, ca how can you think like that? Duh! So I just replied them in the email back like, you know, this is a major letdown for me and it forces me as a microchip fanboy to take more distance from microchip and go more to Admel, more into the whole Ar Arduino community and you know, so yeah it's so disappointing I'm sorry microchip but it's so disappointing you're basically pushing me in the arms of Atmel